Hello and welcome to podcast 10-3, Perspective Drawing. In this lesson we're going to learn how to create a one-point perspective drawing, two-point perspective drawing, as well as a three-point perspective drawing, and then find the vanishing point of famous works of art. In the sketchpad file that goes with this lesson you're going to find uh, buttons that will take us to these three, and let me show you the first one, a one-point perspective drawing. Here is what the end result should look like. A one point perspective drawing has a vanishing point in which parallel lines will be drawn into. That is, those lines that uh, create the depth of the drawing go into the vanishing point. All the other lines will remain parallel to each other, truly parallel to each other. And it should move around like this. So here's how we do it. For the sketchpad file, the vanishing point has already been created for you. Here's an option to hide the horizon, but we're going to create a point. And from that point, we can create uh, the idea of perpendicular to the horizon. So choose the point, choose the horizon, construct perpendicular. Now, with this point, we can place a segment on this perpendicular. That's going to be one edge of the box. Let's go ahead and make that segment. Uh, excuse me, thick. So it stands out and we'll give it some color. Red. Love it. Now, the next segment is going to go uh, in this direction parallel to the horizon. So if I choose this point, choose the horizon, I can construct parallel to the horizon. Now that's too long. Again, I'm just going to make one segment that is attached to that. So this segment is going to be flexible and I'm going to go ahead and hide this line and let's go ahead and hide this line we're not going to need them at this time so we can hide these lines after we create them display hide so here are two edges of the front of the box now a few more from this point we're going to be parallel to the horizon to create this edge construct parallel and from this point we're going to be perpendicular to the horizon construct perpendicular and these two edges meet right there so now by hiding these lines but leaving the point now I only need to connect these dots and now I have the front edge of the box that always maintains parallel and perpendicular to the horizon the depth of the box is what goes to the vanishing point so by using the segment tool and taking each corner I can draw them into the vanishing point whoops control Z I missed that one taking each corner I can draw into the vanishing point there we go make sure it's connected now we start to get a sense of this depth things going into the vanishing point but I need to chop off the box somewhere so I'm going to take uh, the segment tool and place it down this guideline anywhere I'd like but now I have to create that direction that is the back of the box must maintain this sense of parallel and perpendicular so from this point and in fact since I have different colors let me make this stand out I'm gonna let the front of the box change color now let's use oh maybe a blue now, this back of the box needs to go parallel to the horizon, or even parallel to the box edge itself. Construct parallel, it's the same idea. And this is going to notice it's on the top corner, so it has to come across and hit the guideline that goes to the top corner. I'm going to hide that line so it doesn't get in my way, leaving the two points, and I'll connect the two points together. And this is the top edge of the back of the box. Now again, I'm going to take this point and draw straight down. That is perpendicular to the horizon. Now notice that it looks like it's hitting several lines. So I need to move this around to make it clear that I want to intersect this guide line that's going to the vanishing point. So where does this perpendicular hit is there. Now again, let's hide this line so it gets out of our way. And now I can connect these two points, creating the back edge. The next edge is going to go across. That is going to be parallel to the horizon. 
construct parallel and that's going to hit this guideline here again I can hide the line by the way another option is to right click and you can hide a little bit faster and choosing the segment tool connect this and now I already have the point I need to draw straight up from here to there and now I have the back edge of the box I no longer need the guidelines so I'm gonna hide all four of these and now I need only connect the edges of my box thusly got that one that's red I'll fix that momentarily there we go and again as an option right clicking an object you have the color option there we go so now I've created a three-dimensional box that has depth using what's called a one-point perspective drawing given the two vanishing points we need to start with an edge perpendicular again we need a point not a random segment from point to horizon we can construct that perpendicular and then we can create that one segment and now let's hide the perpendicular line leaving the segment behind right click hide from here I can create the guidelines towards the vanishing point this one goes in that direction and also over here and then this direction towards that vanishing point and also over here now how deep does this picture go is as far as you want so this is going to be a randomly placed point but that point must be drawn straight down to find this corner so again that's perpendicular to the horizon and that gives me this corner I can hide this sec this line excuse me and connect these two points to make an edge now again these points go towards here we are a vanishing point and also in this direction there we go now the corner of the box that's off in this direction can go as far as it wants so that's a randomly placed point it has uh, an edge is going to go perpendicular to the horizon and it will meet here let's hide that point excuse me hide that perpendicular and then bring back these two points as the edges and then from here it goes off to a vanishing point and from this corner and if I move this around then I can clearly see the back corner intersections here and here creating a segment between them and now I can hide all these guidelines hiding these four in that direction let's hide them and let's hide these as well oh, I don't want to get that segment I can move it around get it just right there we are I'm gonna hide these four guidelines and now you can see all eight corners and I only need to connect these corners to finish off the sketch and now I've created a box with two point perspective and by dragging a corner you can see how it works how only four segments again are perpendicular to the horizon and all the other edges are drawn towards a vanishing point one to the left one to the right and these vanishing points can move really create a, a skewed type drawing though as well and that's a two-point perspective drawing For the sake of time, I'm just going to show you what a three-point perspective looks like. It has this kind of feel to it. Notice the three points to the right, to the left, and the third one is straight down. So that means none of the edges are truly perpendicular. They all guide to a vanishing point. Actually, the way I created this is uh, by drawing one segment. I did create one edge perpendicular to the horizon. 
So by creating the perpendicular through the vanishing point, that'll create this edge. And then from these two randomly placed points on there, that segment, we can draw to all the vanishing points. The last part of the lesson is to actually find vanishing points in famous works of art. So using these buttons down here, we can click on one, such as the Annunciation. And we're trying to find where this picture is sort of drawn towards, that creates the depth. So any edge, any straight edge is going to give you a clue. Like these edges all go towards something. These edges are all moving. Excuse me just a second. This edge is all moving. Actually, it looks like this edge is going parallel to the whole picture or across the frame. But these edges create depth. And so do these. And so do these. So using Sketchpad, how can we find a little more accurately? Use the Line Tool. So using the Line Tool, we can click and drag. And this is just now approximation. But by dragging along these edges, we can get a sense of where it might be. And we draw along these edges as well. And any edge that's going into the picture. Now notice all of mine do not meet because I've randomly placed these lines. So there's a little bit of guesswork and you may want to go back and try to adjust them. Use a color that stands out from the drawing. And then you're going to see approximately, although the artist who was da Vinci and uh, actually da Vinci's teacher, they were all had a part in this. Da Vinci just finished this painting. He didn't create the whole subject matter. And you'll see by experimenting with, you know, approximately where these edges might go, that the vanishing point is somewhere off into the horizon towards this mountainous area. A better question might be, why? So with this idea of using the line tool, can you approximate where the vanishing point is on all of these, such as the Last Supper, or the Feast of Heroid, or Paris a Rainy Day, or the Miracle of the Believing Donkey, one of the earlier works of a vanishing point, and then you create one on your own, and that will be the lesson. This has been Podcast 10-3, Perspective Drawing.